Welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach from electricalexamcoach.com, and this is the Outdoor Receptacle Boot Camp. This video was sponsored by Racketeers Tools, who have the coolest electrician tools you've ever seen. You can use the link in the description below and use the coupon code COACH10 to save 10%. Let's get to it. When we get to 210.52E1, we're going to find our initial requirement for an outdoor receptacle. Let's take a look at the paraphrase code language. In each one-family dwelling and for every ground-level unit of a two-family dwelling, there must be at least one receptacle outlet easily accessible from ground, and that outlet must be installed on the front and the back of the dwelling and must not be greater than six and a half feet above grade. So that's our initial outline code that says, hey, we have to have one. It's got to be on the front and the back, and it can't be greater than six and a half feet. Now, can you have one greater than six and a half feet? You sure can. Not a problem. It just can't satisfy this code. Let's take a look at our punch list. First off, is the receptacle outlet present? Yes, that's something that we have to make sure of. Two, is it accessible from ground? Yes. Not greater than six and a half feet? Yes. Is there one on the front and the back? And is it fastened correctly? And you may not install receptacles or have seen them installed in block like this, but I want to show you something that you may not normally watch for. I've blown up the photo so it's a little bit easier for us to see. And I brought in the knockout code, which is 110.3b. And it lets us know that any equipment that has been listed or labeled must be set up and operated exactly as specified in the instructions provided with the listing and labeling. Meaning everything's got to be installed according to the listing and labeling instructions. And if we look close at this, we see that there's one fastener down here on the left hand side and there's one up here on the right, but there are no other fasteners anywhere and the listing and labeling instructions for this say that there must be a minimum of four fasteners. So in this case, this one would not be code compliant. But let's go ahead and learn about all the other codes that come with outdoor receptacles. 210.52E2 switches gears for just a moment, and it talks specifically about multifamily dwelling units. Remember, a multifamily dwelling unit is any complex that has three units or more. In each ground level unit of a multifamily dwelling unit, that has its own exterior entrance or exit. There must be at least one receptacle outlet. This outlet must be accessible from grade and not be higher than six and a half feet. So let's take a look at our multifamily punch list. If is it a multifamily space, then I keep going. Is the receptacle outlet present? Is it accessible from ground? Is it not greater than six and a half feet? And is it on the front, back, or side? It doesn't specify in the code, so it can be anywhere. It just has to be accessible from that unit. When we get to E3, we learn about balconies, decks, and porches. If a balcony, deck, or porch is within four inches horizontally of a dwelling unit, so if it's detached greater than four inches, this code does not apply. It must have at least one receptacle outlet that's accessible from that area. This outlet must not be installed greater than six and a half feet above the walking surface, balcony, deck, or porch. And what's cool about this code and the code that we first learned about, the one that requires there to be one on the front and the back, if it's well placed, you can actually satisfy both of these codes at one time. If we're looking at our checklist for balconies, decks, and porches, is there a balcony, deck, or porch? Yes, if so, I need to continue. Is the receptacle outlet present? Is it accessible from the balcony deck or porch? And is it not greater than six and a half feet high? Now let's learn about the circuitry. When we look at the circuitry, we're asking the question, what circuits can I wire these outlets from? First, I want us to learn the circuits that the outdoor receptacles cannot be wired from. And for this, we need to head over to 210.11C, one through three. And that's where we get our initial circuit requirements for our two kitchen circuits, called our small app circuits, our one laundry circuit, and our one bathroom circuit. You are not allowed to wire the outdoor receptacles off of those circuits. Now let's take a look at the circuits that you can wire them from. When we get to 210.11C4, which is right after bathrooms in that list we just read, we learn about the required garage circuit. 
And in its code text, it says, hey, you're not allowed to wire anything else off this circuit. But if we look down below here at the exception, we're gonna find that the exception allows us to do it and wire outdoor receptacles. Let's take a look at it. The same circuit may also be used to supply readily accessible outdoor ex uh, receptacles. In 2023 and later, it just says outdoor receptacles, depending on what code cycle that you're in. When we're looking at our punch list for outdoor receptacles, as far as circuitry goes, we just need to make sure that it's not wired from a kitchen, bath, or laundry, and that it is wired from the garage circuit or wired from any general circuit, meaning like circuits for your bedroom, circuits for your living room, or any general lighting circuit. Because the code does not expressly say that you cannot wire from those circuits, it allows you to it. A lot of the codes are permissible codes, meaning they've not told you that you can't, so you can. And because it doesn't specifically prohibit us from wiring from our general circuits, we're allowed to tap our outdoor receptacles from those. And our final piece of the puzzle is that receptacle within 25 feet of HVAC equipment. And for that, we're going to head to 210.63. It lets us know that a 125 volt single phase 15 or 20 amp receptacle outlet must be installed within 25 feet of equipment as described in the next two codes. We're going to be covering A for today. This receptacle must be on the same level as the equipment it serves and cannot be wired to the load side of the equipment disconnecting means. So we're not allowed to tap it off the load side of the HVAC circuit, but we are allowed to tap it off that garage or any general circuit. Now this list is not all encompassing, but it'll give you a good place to start. Is the receptacle outlet present? Is it accessible from ground? Is it not greater than six and a half feet? Is there one on the front and back? Is it fastened correctly? And do we have one within 25 feet of HVAC equipment? On multifamily dwellings, is it present? Is it accessible from ground? Is it not greater than six and a half feet? And is it on the front, back, or side? For porches, decks, and balconies, is the receptacle outlet present? Is it accessible from that deck? Not greater than six and a half feet. All of them can't be wired from a kitchen, bath, or laundry, and they can be wired from the garage circuit or any general circuit. I am the electrical code coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you and then you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything you need from me, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.